Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for KS Craft. This will be part two of my project videos for their April 2023 release. I will link part one in the description box down below in case you missed that one. But uh, I made some more projects with the new dies and I am excited to show you because I think they came out so cute. So I'll show you the products that I used. I'll take some measurements of my uh, projects. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or if you have any comment, just let me know. Okay, let's get started. The, the first one I wanted to share with you is the Honeycomb Shaker Mini Album. And these are the dies that you get. You get um, this outer die, which which is scalloped and uh, I and it's got an eyelid as well. And then there's a frame to make the shaker part that's stitched. It also comes with this outline stitch piece too that you can use for your pattern paper. And then it comes with this overlay part for your shaker, or you don't have to use it for a shaker. You could just put it on top of some paper behind it. Uh, this makes like the honeycomb look, which is really, really cute. I did use that. And it also comes with some accessories. It comes with all these pieces to make a little bee. So uh, it comes with two wings, the body, and then the uh, the base piece that has cutouts for the for the like stripes. And then it also comes with the words that say "Be Mine." And there's a little heart for for the uh, dot above the eye. And there's a shadow piece too. And also a little honey dipper too. I did not use that. Actually, I did not make an album. I made a card with mine. So I wanted to show you the paper that I used too. I just got this and I showed this in my haul last week. This is a new collection from uh, Echo Park. It's called Be Happy by Lori Whitlock. And as soon as I saw this, I knew it would be perfect for KS Crafts new bee themed items. I've used a ton of it already in these projects. So I better get another one when I can. So let me show you the, the uh, project I made. Like I said, I made a card and how cute is that? So, you know, even though it's called a mini album, you don't have to make it a mini album. You can make it an embellishment, a card like I did, a tag, whatever you want. And it doesn't have to be a shaker either, but I did make mine a shaker. I know people like to get uh, shaker cards. So, um, yeah, so like I said, I used that new paper collection and I love the colors. They're soft blues and, and yellows, but like a gold kind of yellow and whites and a little bit of black. So I thought it would be perfect for this. I used some 80 pound uh, Astro Bright paper for the, uh, for the white, which I use all the time. You guys, if you watch me, you know that I use that. Um, for the word beautiful, that's in the next die set I'm going to show you, but this is one of the new sentiments that KS Craft has. And these are the little bees that I made. And um, I think I mentioned last time, I'm not a big fan of like realistic looking bees, but I figured if I did these in pretty colors, I would like them. And I really do. I love the soft colors. And I did use some black for the background and I did kind of offset a, a little bit. And then I added some little jemmies well, they're more like uh, enamel dots, sort of, but they're in the paper crafting section in Hobby Lobby. And I thought the heart shape looked really cute on there. So for the for the wings, the die set come to, comes with two, um, two wings or, you know, like two pieces of wings. So I just, I glued the first one down, but then the second one I just glued in the middle so that the the tops could come up and there's embossing on the wings too if you could see that so I think they look really really cute even though they're more like you know more of a realistic kind of bee they're still adorable when you put them in pretty colors so um I used a bunch of different shaker bits I used diamond dots and some sequins I did use two layers of Dollar Tree foam board to pop up my shaker again um, since it's a, a, a thin border or a thin frame for the shaker. Uh, I usually have to cut out my foam board twice because it squishes it down a lot. So this is the card that I made. Let me measure the shaker for you. Uh, whoops, wrong side. So the shaker itself measures about four and a quarter inches across and let's see, about three and five eighths up and down. Uh, if you want to include the eyelet piece, it's, well, it's a little bit more than that. And the little bees are, um, 
just about an inch, a little bit less, top to bottom, and then side to side, they're a little bit over an inch. So super cute, right? I just love this card. I think it came out really, really nice. I um, used some coordinating papers underneath the pattern paper just to, you know, kind of bring it all together, the gold and the black and the, and the light blue. So I love how that came out. The inside I just left blank for now, but I did put a piece of uh, coordinating cardstock there. And then this is a sticker from um, the collection kit that I got for that. Uh, collection as well. So that's my first project. I hope you like it. Let me measure beautiful because we're going to go on to that die set next. This one is about five and a half or did I say five and a half? Four and a half inches across. And then from top to bottom, it's about one, almost one and a half inches. So this one I cut pattern paper out of the word itself and then the shadow piece I cut out of two kinds of paper one the white and one the light blue that I used the same one for the frame and just kind of offset them a little bit so that's the first one let me show you the die set that that comes with so these are all of the words and uh, I'll show you them in a second. I had a comment in my last video that uh, I was wasting their time by trying to figure out what the <laughs> words were <laughs> without a mirror. So, you know, if I'm wasting your time, feel free not to watch my videos. <laughs> I didn't think it took me that long. But anyway, these are the words that it comes with and I will show you. Here's beautiful, as we just saw, beautiful. And they're all kind of bee themed. This one is beehive. And this one, I use some gold paper from that paper pad as well for the, for the uh, words themselves. Here we have queen bee. And if you wanted to just use queen or just use bee, you could just you know cut carefully between the words and just use one word at a time. Then we have honeybee, same thing for that. I love this font. It's such a beautiful script. And it's very easy to put together because all the letters are connected. Um, not, not the words, but the letters are connected. The, the shadow part is connected. And then the last one is buzzin. So super cute. I love these words. Um, I cut these out just to have on hand. So when I'm making another beathing project, I have these all ready to go. And I thought this paper was pretty versatile. So it'll probably go with most projects. So I measure beautiful for you. They're all about the same size, depending on the length of the word. But I think that that's a great set to have, especially, you know, beathing papers and projects are really in right now. So this would be a good thing to have in, to, in your stash. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next die set is called the Star Edge Ruffles. And these are similar to the shabby chic ones that KS Craft released um, a couple months ago. So there's a narrower one and a wider one. So what you do is um, you cut these out and then fold them like with, you know, mountains and valleys. So uh, it looks like a ruffle and uh, you can glue the two together. The, this piece that you cut out goes on top of there, so you have a border. You don't have to do that if you don't want the, the scalloped eyelet border, but I like how that looks. So let me um, show you what I made with these because it looks a lot different than the die set. So this one is made with the wider ribbon, and this is what it looks like when you fold it all together. So the way I put this together was, um, like I said, I cut them, cut the two pieces out of different papers. One is a gingham paper and one is a pattern paper with peaches on it that I think I'd gotten from Joann's a long time ago. And then um, I glued them, after I folded them, I did glue them together, you know, just with like some wet glue. And then to get the ruffles to stay in, you could either sew the whole thing, which I've done before, but this one, I took my hot glue and just like opened up a flap, put some glue in and then folded it and then just kept using my hot glue until it was all done. And that made it go really quick. I did that on the front and then on the back too. So, um, so yeah, I had that done. And then this word flowers comes from a, a previous release from KS Crafts of their new spring shadow words. I'll link that down below as well. 
And then these little flowers here that I put on, those are from um, the next die set I'm going to show you, which is the tiered tray garden add-on. I, I didn't make a tiered tray this time. I just made the, the little flowers from it. But they're so cute, and I thought they'd be perfect for this um, little embellishment. So when you put this all together, depending on you know the paper you use, how tightly you uh, fold it, but this is generally how big it is. It's about four inches from side to side. And then from top to bottom, if you go from like the tippy top to the bottom, it's uh, about one and seven eighths. So that's the wider one. And then the teeny flowers, just to let you know, that's not even a half inch, maybe like seven or um, what's half, half an inch is four eighths. So maybe like three eighths of an inch. And that one, yeah, it's about the same, maybe a little bit smaller. That one's about a half inch. So really cute. I also used a piece of like peach trim that I had from, I think it was one of the bundles from Hobby Lobby or Michael's. I used that behind the, the word flowers and I just glued that onto the back. You could see that. And let's see what else. Um, I used Nouveau Drops. This is a like a peachy pink color called Bubblegum Blush. It looks pink if you use it with pink colors, peach if you use it with peach. So I think it looks really nice with the, with the uh, peach paper that I used that I used here. And I used the word uh, flowers. I put it in green because there's some green in like the peach leaves. So that's the first embellishment I made. And then this is the one I made with the thinner ribbon. And this one I used some a few different yellow papers. These are both, well, let's see. I think the one in the back, yeah, that's a gingham paper that I'd gotten from Joann's. It's one of the thinner um, scrapbook papers. And then this this one here with the little hearts on it, I printed out from Etsy. And then this word is also from the New Spring Shadow Words. And these um, pieces of ephemera are from Not Too Shabby Shop for the box of the month from, um, from May that I was uh, a guest designer for. So I had some pieces and I thought they'd look nice there. I added some more trim. Again, I did the mountains and valleys and then uh, added um, hot glue in between the ruffles to hold it down. And I still have a bunch of glue strings there. So you can see I definitely did hot glue that. So this one, the thinner one, is let's see, about three and three quarter inches across. And it's about an inch, a little bit more than an inch top to bottom, depending on where you measure it actually. So those are the two different sizes. They're, as you can see, about the same from side to side, but um, you know, width-wise is definitely different. So I love both of these. They'll be nice to have on hand when you know you want to make a bag topper or you know make a quick card and put this on the front of it. It adds a lot of dimension. It's not too thick though, which is nice. So you could still nail it. And then um, if you wanted to give these to somebody, they could always, you know, add more embellishments too. You could put more stuff behind it. I was thinking about doing that, but I figured I would wait to do that until I knew exactly what I was going to use these for. So those are the uh, Star Edge Ruffles. I hope you like them. I think they came out really, really cute. And let me show you that die set for the, for the tier tray. Like I said, I only used a little bit of it this time, just the flowers. And I did use the leaves too, but the, this is an add-on to the, the Easter tier tray, and I'll link that down below as well as this one. But the Easter tier tray set comes with the actual tier tray and some other accessories. These are garden-themed accessories that you could use in that tier tray to decorate it a different way. And hopefully KS Craft is gonna come out with different themes because I think it's such a cute idea. I will definitely get to making this, but um, you know, I just like, like I said, I just wanted to show you the, the flower dies that I used. And they come with lots of different shapes, a few of each, which is nice. So you only have to die cut it like once, you know, if you want to make the small flowers like I did. I just put three of each style um, or three of one style together with the little bread. These are breads I got at Michael's a long time ago and just, uh, you know, glued them onto my project. So they came together really quick and I just bent up the top layers a little bit. So 
you know, just to add a little bit of height to them. So um, yeah, that's the uh, tear tray garden add-on. All right, let's get on to the last project for today. And this is such a cute little bee die set. And it's not that little actually. So this is what it comes with. It's called the bee shaker. So it comes with the background die right here. And then it comes with the frame die. Um, if you don't want to make it a shaker, you don't have to. You could just, you know, cut these out of different papers. These are layering pieces that are the stripes of the bees. So as you can see, they go like right over there. And I made a couple of little embellishments. So let me show you. This is the first one I made and look how cute. Again, I used that Be Happy paper from Echo Park that I showed you at the beginning. And I got this idea from the example on KS Crafts website. They have um, the top layer is not glued down. So I like how that adds some dimension. So you just have to cut it out an extra time to do that. So I have the um, this black paper I cut out the same way I cut out the blue one with the, with the frame die, this one. And I made it into a shaker. As you can see, I only used one layer of Dollar Tree foam board for this. And uh, yeah, just to cut it out in different layers, glued them all together, used some acetate to hold the shaker bits in. For the uh, shaker bits, I used diamond dots mostly and a couple of small sequins too. Uh, it's a pretty small area for the shaker, so you can't use like huge sequins. If you can't, if you do, you won't be able to fit too many in there. So I think something smaller looks best. And then just to add a little bit of fun to the middle of my bee, I hot glued on a button tied with some with some gold thick thread behind it. So this little bee measures about three inches across. And then if you count his antenna, it's about um, two and three eighths inches up and down. So really cute, right? Here's the other one I made, same idea, just a little bit different colors. And I made him a little uh, yellow and white bee with cute blue stripes instead of the black ones and the antenna I did not glue down to the I didn't glue the two layers together because I do like how it looks you know with like these popping up a little bit just like the wings this one I used a yellow button the same one as the blue one with some gold thread behind it same diamond dot sequin mixture, different background fabrics, but they're both from the Be Happy collection from Echo Park. Aren't those so cute? You could put these in a bag, like a, you know, a cellophane bag, and then add like this as a bag topper or something. Wouldn't that be nice? I thought so. Or just like one of the words and a doily, and then you have a, a very quick and simple bag topper. So those are my projects for today. I hope you like them. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be glad to get back to you. And I would love to know what you think about today's video. So thank you so much for joining me. All the links for these products will be down below. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.